Okay, we're back here at the Land Tamer stream, and we are taking on now some of the BGP Best Path Selection Labs. The first one is Wait, and I talked about doing a flashcard for this, but in the interim, I found, you know, a sheet, a reference from PacketLife.net, Jeremy Stretch's site, which is awesome. I've linked it in the description of this stream and the video, but... This, this will take you directly to his PDF, which has a good summary here of the past selection 1 through 10. There are 10 of these listed here. So the first line we're going to do tonight is for weight, which makes sense. It looks like we're, we're, we might be going in order here. Disclaimer 2, this lab is that I'm about to perform is not a lab I designed. It is in the INE workbook, which if you want details on this and all the other labs and great content videos and explanation um, and guidance to the lab, that is in the actual INE workbook, which I do not show on stream. Okay, so anyway, we're going to look at the first one, which is weight. And this attribute, um, we for this lab and this attribute lab of weight, we had to load the basic BGP routing topology so this is the INE basic pgp routing topology should be loading up for the most part normally i uh, just initiated i'm gonna have to shut down these switches we don't need these switches they're loaded automatically but we can take these out stop nodes and let's look at the requirements of this lab uh, wallpaper of the day uh, i normally switch it for each stream i downloaded a bunch of these but this is from the trailer for today from uh, star wars the last jedi so stoked about it. Watched it many times. This is Captain uh, Phasma. I think that's that's her name. Anyway, really cool scene there. So let's go to the requirements for this lab. And the configuration. Little worksheet here. Okay, so requirements of the best pass selection weight using uh, they they sort of give us hints here. Use the most influential attributes so that and this is router seven. All right, traffic from AS300. Two prefixes originated. AS54 exit toward R3. Okay, and then traffic from AS300. Two prefixes originated. Generated S254 exits toward R6. I think there's a new topology. I'm not used to this. You must load, okay, load basic BGP routing. All right, let me look at the. This might be a new topology diagram. It is. Advanced technology. Okay. All right. Fair enough. So let me save this. We might have to do a new drawing here for the rest of these. Is that that? No, that is the... Okay, here's the topology diagram from INE. I'm going to modify this slightly. I'm actually going to open our normal map here. And this is the topology. Uh, I'm assuming this is what we're going to be working with. I did not mean to edit that. Uh, this should be the topology we're going to be working with for the next 10 or so labs. So I'm going to take a moment here just to outline these areas. And let's use this particular. So we got routers one, four, and six. 
And this is going to be, well, I'll put the BGB in there in a moment. The AS areas. Router 7 is going to be in his own. Interesting. And by, by doing this drawing, I am accomplishing a couple things. One, making it a, a, a drawing I don't mind putting here on the stream. Plus, getting familiar with the area myself. Just, just kind of an exercise. Like you do when you come to, into any new network, right? You want to, you probably look at the documentation that's there. But you probably document things for yourself, uh, even though the documentation may not be better in the end. But for you, you'll you'll it'll give you a good idea of what you're working with. That's how you learn something, right? Just map it out. And what am I missing here? I think that's in layers, so I can't do that. So router ten is going to be in it. We're, we've got several air uh, ASs here. I'm going to have to freehand this one. So this is going to be here, 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 and here. Okay, it's not pretty, but it should work. This will be AS. Okay, let's put the AS numbers here. S200. And let's give him a little life here. Green, that's hard to read. Pink. All right, we're feeling pink. This is going to be S200. And let me move my water. Bear with me, folks. I know it's not going to be pretty, but it should work for what we need to do. We're not trying to make pretty, right? We're just going to try to get some labs done. AS54, this will be AS100. It's probably going to trip me up a little bit. I'm so used to, to 100. AS300. And this guy, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to have a total of 5 ASs. Wait a second. Uh, this is a little different here. Seven nine router two is also connected to router ten. Mm. Oh, there's a VRF. Okay. We haven't been introduced to VRFs yet, so I'm not even going to put that on here. Uh, let's clean this up just a just a hair. Yeah, we're not I'm not even gonna put that on there, VRF to router ten. Unless they ask to use it. Then I will put it back on here. But, you know, we haven't covered any of that yet. So I wouldn't imagine it'll be used for this part of the workbook. If it is, we'll, we'll drag it out. We'll work on it. But, okay, so let's get this straight. And another one here. We might be looking at this for a while, so I'm taking an extra moment here to avoid any potential confusion. All these lines, too, should probably be dotted. Let's do that just in case. Yeah. Okay, so quite a few more areas to work with here. And it makes sense. We're going to be doing a lot of BGP attributes and exchanging routes between areas.
makes sense that we're going to have a lot more of them. Okay, uh, come on, switch. Sometimes you have to do this twice for some reason. All right, make a copy. And this is... Ten ten BGP diagram advanced. Revert this one. That's probably would have been easier. Okay. So this is the map we have. We're gonna have to get familiar with this because for this, even for this particular requirement, traffic and eight. So we're gonna be working on router seven. Well, we're going to be influencing router 7 traffic from AS300 towards. Oh, okay. You make me click it twice. All right. So AS54. So we're, so we're looking at AS54 is router 9. Prefixes originated in AS54 exit towards router 3. Okay. So, routes going this way, routes going to router 9 should, ex should uh, prefer AS200 first. And traffic from AS300 prefix towards prefix originate in AS254. Remember, when it's from, it means that the route's inbound. We have to influence the route's inbound because we're trying to influence the exit path. So this particular AS as well, oh, AS54 is actually routers 9 and 10. But 254, uh, where's 254? That is that VRF. Okay. So they're going to have us use the VRF, which is fine. And the way that is drawn here, let's just put a router. Let's just call this router 10 for now, for lack of a better. This is AS. And this is AS254. And there is a link here between M and router 2. And the link here is BRF. Okay, well, good to know. Now we know that we do need to use this. And they're sort of introducing us to VRF concepts, which is fine. Hey, we'll, we'll, you know, go with the flow here. So let's, let's draw this out. So we want to say that routes from 
uh, towards, okay, this needs to go towards router three. And this is routes that are towards AS54. So routes going towards AS54 should go towards router three, not towards router nine. So these routes need to have a higher, the routes advertised inbound this way need to have a higher preference from AS54. So, and that should take precedence over everything. Again, this is, the weight is Cisco proprietary. We know that. And it has the highest priority of all the attributes. So let's load. Let's take a look at what we have now in router seven. This is a new topology, show IP BGP. Okay, so notice we have, if it's anything like the, the let's double check, but it, we see routes coming from AS54. And essentially if they are I and then 54, that means it is a route essentially originating from AS54. But notice right now, the best path, Uh, well, for some of these, it is router, okay. Most of these, it's going to be router 9, right? We would think. Yeah, any of these that are coming in 54. Now, some of them have to go through 200. Those are like the ones coming from router 10. Those are the ones coming from here. They're going to transit AS200 first before they come into router 7. So those will already prefer router 3 to come back out because it's going to be the shortest path. So yeah, we see 54 is going to come through router nine. This one's going to come through router nine. So what we want to do is we want to find essentially every route That, traver that originates from 54, we want to assign a weight inbound from router three. And if we look at our, um, at Jeremy Stretch's cheat sheet, well, I had that up, I don't have it up any longer. Let me pull it back up here, it is in the, a link I put in the description of the stream. But let's load it up here. Oh yeah, I downloaded it already. It's already, it should already be on my desktop. And it is, okay. So as we can see, weight, the highest weight gets the preference. So what we need, need to do is we need to say incoming from from this neighbor and we don't just want uh, 200 routes AS200 but we want anything with 54 in the path so let's look at for example show IP BGP So actually all of these, well, some of these do not have 54 in the path, right? We only want to influence routes destined towards 54. And let's see. Oh, AS254 as well. Now 254 needs to go towards router 6. So what we want to do is inbound, as these routes are coming in, 
we want to assign them a higher preference. All right, so how do we do that? Let's see if we can find an example in the configuration guide. I already know that we need a regex here, right? And that is kind of new ground for me. Man, I really need to learn that stuff too. So much I need to learn here. So let's look at the configuration guide. And that's my first inclination. I've read a lot about this, but now it's time to actually do it. And I don't know that there's going to be a configuration guide. Yeah, let's look, let's just look through some of these and see if any of them jump out. I did see, oh, I thought I saw best, best, best something. Prefix space outbound route filtering, no. Best external, I doubt that's it, no. Wouldn't it be great if you went to the configuration guides and there was configuring best pass selection or now of course there wouldn't be anything like that. That would just be a little too simple. That would be too practical, wouldn't it? Um so let's look at the technology guide. I have a link for this now. I actually want technology IP, IP routing. And this, there's not much here. I remember, oh, here we go. Border Gateway Protocol. Nah, nothing like that. Mm, BGB case studies. Yeah, nothing really practical there. Um, that was under configuration examples and tech notes. Let's go to configuration guides. I think we looked at that. Um, technology white paper. BGP case studies. BGP decision algorithm. That looks. Oh, here's some attributes. Okay. So 
So I think we may have found it. Um, the weight is a Cisco defined attribute. This uses a weight to select the best path. The value only makes sense to the specific router. The value is not propagated or carried through any of the route updates. Router is learned, router propagates the update. So again, weight is uh, locally significant only. We can assign a weight to that neighbor. Okay, this actually looks like a good example. Okay, and then this is local preference. So let's take this example and see if this works. We have a couple of examples here. I think the one we want is not a filter list. I prefer to use a route map. Yeah, this looks good right here. So let's, let's use this as an example. Okay, it took us a minute, but we found, uh, I like this BGP case studies from October 30th, 2008. Um, I'm going to put this I'm going to put this link in the description because I may come back to it. I may use this again. Yeah, this is BGP case studies. And let's try this, let's try this one out. So what we're gonna do on router seven. All right, we're going to do router, BGP, and in this case, we are 300. Neighbor. And what neighbor addresses are we using here? Let's take a look. Chaffee BGP sum. All right, let's look on, work on router 3 first. Neighbor, route map, set weight. And this is going to be let's call it set uh going towards fifty four yeah, it's gonna be set fifty four in and let's do a route map route map set. 54, permit 10, match AS path 5, and we're going to do IP AS path access list 5, permit. And I think this is contain, so as long as it contains 54, I don't know my regex, to be honest. I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm going to have to study that a lot more. We'll see if this works. We're going to put this in here. And then we're going to have another IP AS path access list 10 permit. And this is going to be for. two fifty four. So route map, map, set, weight, 200.
Match AS path 10, set weight 200. Uh, this is going to be set 254. And we're going to do the same for neighbor. 15167.6, route map set 254 in. Let's check on those regex because I'm a little concerned that I'm just taking the example. But who knows if that is correct. And I remember from a video, Brian saying that the regex is not where you might traditionally think it is located in the documentation. And as a matter of fact, it I'm trying to remember, is it even available in the is it even available in the lab? I'm not sure because let's see, products. Uh, I'm going to have to go back in that video and see where he said that is located. Let's just do Cisco regex. Regular expressions. Terminal services. So it's in iOS mainline configuration guide. Let's see if I can navigate to that. I think that's going to be important. Products. iOS. This time I'm going to go 12 to mainline. And what did it say this is under? Cisco iOS terminal services configuration guides. Let's go under configuration guides. There it is. I think. Configuration guide, Cisco IS Terminal Services Configuration Guide, Release 12.2, Chapter Regular Expressions. Yeah, I don't see that here. I wish I could see this whole path. Here we go. Support, product support. Chapter contents. Cisco iOS terminal services configuration guide. Cisco iOS terminal services configuration guide. Oh, it's an appendix. Oh, okay. All right, I guess that's pretty important. All right, so let's just take our time here and let's look at these. And this is at the beginning of an input string. Nest characters for matching, concatenates constructs. Oh, I see. We do need the dollar sign, don't we? Because if we did, just did 5-4, do we need a dollar sign in front? I've seen the underscore used a lot. Replace a long by matching a comma, left brace, beginning... Characters 13 are can match any of the following strings. Okay. They're testing us here. Because we have to do 54 and 254, they're testing us. They want to make sure we're doing explicitly both 54 or 254. Uh, 
Ah, uh, we need this, don't we? That's what we have. So if we do caret one, two, three, dollar sign. Yeah, okay, we've got it right. So I think the example they gave in the book. Yeah, that's, that's correct. Okay, so I think we have it. So let's go ahead and apply this on router seven. I want to do these first. Just from an order of operations perspective, this is the uh, this is the logic the that it should go in, so that it'll accept entry the first time and apply the logic. Okay, so let's try the. Uh, I'm going to do this incrementally here. Okay, I'd like those and like that route map like this route map of course we'll get better at this as we go along and then i don't think that matters but this matters i think that is case sensitive okay so just make sure prefixes originated in as54 exit towards router three Yes, that is right. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's do a little, let's clear. Let's request the updates again. And then show IPBGP. And let's use it. Well, uh, we're going to have to wait a second here. I can use a regular expression here, can I? Carrot fifty-four dollar. Um, I'm not doing that right. What is this? Suppressed. Okay. I'm not receiving any prefixes now. I wonder if my route map was incorrect. I probably need to do, yeah. I need a permit 20, route map set before permit 20. He said it'll help us troubleshoot. That can be 10. So even if I have an error, I'm not gonna see anything at this stage. Clear IPBGP star in. Okay, now they're coming in. And we see weights. Not seeing any weights applied. So something is wrong with my regular expression. I want to be able to select, I don't want it to, I think I need the brackets, don't I? Matches the characters or a range of characters separated by a hyphen within left and right square brackets. Matches zero or more sequences of character preceding the asterisk.
So maybe there's an example in here. <laughs> as long as it is not. Here's a regular expression example. It's not sent advertisement about any path through or from the adjacent autonomous system one, two, three. Oh, that's only from, okay. That's not what we want. Is there going to be multiple ASs in the path, right? And we want to match. Yeah, I think we need the, the brackets. So I can do this with show IPBGP, can I? I can test them here. Show IPBGP star. And then what if I do this? Show IVBGP include carrot fifty four dollar. Okay, there we go. Ah, that's the thing though. I don't want to include this. I need a space there, don't I? Now, how do I include, um, there was an example here. Yeah, this is what I want. Nest characters for matching, separate endpoints, range with a dash. Oh, okay. Let's try that. Hmm, how do we not include 254? That's just the characters, a range of characters base. Yeah, I don't want to match a range of characters.
matches one or more sequence of the character preceding the plus sign. Oh, maybe I need, uh, let's try this. That's, no, that's still not the one I want. Now it's just showing me everything. Um, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna need a little help with this one. So I'm gonna take a look at the answer key. I think I have it right in principle, but I'm stuck, and I don't want to spend too much time on this. Now I'm gonna get more practice with this. Underscore fifty four dollar. Okay. Underscore fifty four dollar. Okay, well, that's what it says. Let's try it. Underscore $54. Let's do no IP AS path access list five. Okay, clear IPBGP star in. Underscore, that's what I needed. And also, so what I need to learn is, uh, uh, not only need to study the regular expressions, but when can you use them, like I thought you could use them here. The show IP BGP, but that doesn't work. I do begin count exclude format. Line regular expression. Anyway, all right, let's see if that did give, give us the result we wanted. Show IPBGP. And the weight is still not being applied. Match AS path to. And I'm using what is in the book. Match AS path, uh, the book, the workbook. IP AS path access list permit underscore $54 sign. Match AS path five set weight. And then we have a permit, permit all, which is I was missing before. Okay, let's make sure this is going the right direction here. 67.6 .6 route map 
Yeah, I've got it just like it has it in the book. Let's do clear IPVGP star. Oh, okay. What I need to do is show IPVGP regex. Okay, so I don't need the pipe symbol. So we just do regex. Then we can do underscore. Before dollar, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, that's what I wanted. Nice. I just needed to look at the lab key to see how to do that. So now if I do show IP BGP and there's the weight. The weight is now being set. Awesome. So now if I do a trace route to 112.001. Uh, we don't have best path yet. It's still converging. Give it a second. And now we have best path calculation. And this should be going through. All right, there's no preference set on that one yet. Is that coming from 54? What is coming from 54? Uh, first, let's do 54. Okay, now notice these are going through router 3 instead of router 9, which is what we want. So now we do trace route 1. .1. It's going the long route. It's going 3, 5, 8, and 10. And then if we do 254, these should be going preferred through router 6, local weight 200, and they are. Where they have a route for router 6. Yeah, such as this one here. So. It's going a long way around, but that's, that's what we wanted to engineer in this particular case. All right, so learned a lot. This is my first attribute lab. Uh, I learned that I need to learn more about the use of the regular expressions, both in the show commands and in the route maps. I had sort of the design correct based on the example. I got this from the example. And it looks like we're going to be doing a lot of route maps with IP AS path access lists. We're going to be using a lot of regular expressions, a lot of set commands. So I'm going to take the rest of this time uh, this evening to I'm going to I'm going to beef up on the regular expression, and I'm going to actually look a little more through this link which I put in the description, which is the what is it called the BGP. Oh, here's another thing we learned. We know now how to find the regular expression examples. And it's under the iOS Terminal Services Configuration Guide. That's the only place you can find it. And the reason you get, uh, I knew that is because of INE video. And then the document we want to key... Oh, and it's also 12.2. I'm assuming that is not in newer versions. Let's, let's look. And the video is saying you may not see it unless you go 12.2. But we're running 12.6. And let's look at configuration guides. I don't even see terminal server. Yeah, you're right. So you do have to go to 12.2 to find that. Hopefully you shouldn't need this in a lab. This should be just by then uh, wrote. But another document I'm going to go back and look over some more is, uh, as I was mentioning, the one I put in the link, 
which is the configuration guide. It was a configuration guide for BGP, wasn't it? Case study. No, that was in the technology section. Yes, so I want to go back and look at this. Technology IP, IP routing. The reason I don't click on BGP there is because it, it's misleading. Uh, where do we find that? That was under design guide? No. Technology white paper? BGP case studies. Yeah. Let me make sure I put that in the link. In the description. Yeah, BGP case studies. And, of course, the Packet of Life uh, cheat sheet. All right, so that took us about an hour on the first one. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be looking at local preference, which we know is very widely used. Weight is not used very often because it is Cisco-specific. Um, but we do want to look at local preference because we will be doing that a lot. So thanks for tuning in, folks. Appreciate you hanging out, and we'll see you tomorrow here in the Land Tamer stream. Have a good night.